Hello everyone, welcome to Treasure Chest Tuesday. This is Susan Taylor Shire, Soul Mastery, and I am an intuitive counselor and a muse for your heart and soul. Today we're going to have a lot of fun because we want to be like a baby. <laughs> we often talk about being our inner child and how they are um, disruptive and how we have to work with our inner child, but we're going to be like a baby today and see the innocence, the joy, the ease of transformation when you're in that natural space. So, I find in my work with the emotional realm, which is something that I've done my whole life and working to help people to be able to navigate those gnarly little emotions in a creative way is so fun. But the key is that you have to be in the place of some lightness, some joy, a place of love, appreciation. The more you're in that space already, peace, confidence, any of those uh, feeling realms that you are in, the more you're in that space, the easier it is for you to transform those little volcanoes that are up inside you. I had this happen the other day. I was, you know, happy as a clam and something triggered me and it was like, oh, I mean, it really was like a fire in my heart, like, oh, um, in my heart. And I went, okay, then here it is. Now, if you look at it that way and go, here you are again, welcome to my life. I'm glad to have you here. Let's see what it is you need, how you want to be transformed, and how it can help you move into that place of being a bigger part of my joy. Because obviously this uh, that came up like a volcano erupting was a part of me that wasn't aligned with joy or it wouldn't have felt so contrast, right? So there it is. And as I always often say, it's a protection mechanism. It's like, no, you don't want to move forward. I'm going to erupt so that you know. Now I don't sound like a baby. I sound like I don't know what. <laughs> I'm going to erupt to sidestep you, sidetrack you, sabotage you, so that you don't get to move forward from that loving, joyful place that you were in. So it's like, hmm, who put that there? Could it be moi? Yes, it is moi. So I get to work with transforming that. So the, today we're going to uh, play with that whole way of being because in any moment you have a choice. The more you're in joy, the more you see that whatever shows up is in um, contrast to joy. It is not the monster inside and you're just, you know, down, just down, put down by it completely, you know, floored. That's the word I want, floored by it. So imagine you're in joy and something comes up crying out to be connected again because it hasn't been, right? Then you have a choice. You've been in joy. This thing has come up. It wants to take over. You have a choice. Do I go to joy or do I let this thing take over and take me down? Choice, right? Always have a choice. If you remember you always have a choice, it helps immensely. So there you are with this choice. And the more you have joy, the more you have peace, the more you have a sense of acceptance, everything is fine, all is well, you see that in that moment as a choice. Okay, so here's an example, the first baby example. I'm going to be showing you after this video, you're going to um, be able to see another video of the brilliant example that this baby is for all of us and all mankind. <laughs> But in the meantime, um, think of a situation, and this happens to me all the time. I'm walking my dog down by the ocean. I'm walking my dog, and there's babies learning, little children, I shouldn't say babies, children with their moms or dads learning how to do those little scooters or whatever, and they're crying. Something's happened, they're crying. It happened the other day. And it's not that I'm trying to distract this child, but I, you know, took, made eye contact with this dad. And I looked at the boy who was looking at my dog and I said, isn't he cute? Isn't he great? Do you want to pet him? And all of a sudden this boy lit up and totally lost track of the anguish he was in. 
Again, was it distraction? No, it was a choice. And then he approached the whole situation of having fallen a moment ago very differently. He had the heart, brave heart strength to get up and try it again, which he did. So you see the difference. We're not just spiritual bypass trying to distract ourselves. Go to peace, go to joy, go to something else. It's no, we, we have that choice and we have this thing that just erupts in us and we're transforming it through joy. Okay, great. All right, so in the following example that you're going to have to click the link below for, because it's a YouTube video that I found, just came to me. And I will remind you, it's on a page of ads and distractions and all sorts of stuff. I couldn't change that, okay? So don't get distracted. It's a very short video, but it shows the joy of transformation and how it's supposed to be for us and how we can just laugh and giggle when <laughs> disruption, eruption, volcanic, volcanic stuff happens to us. Okay? Great. So thoroughly enjoy that. And underneath that is my invitation to you for the next June 14-day immersion, which is Master Divine Partnership. So that you can master your relationships in this world to the divine, to self, to other, to this world four tiers of mastering divine relationships, making it all one divine relationship. How great is that? So enjoy the video below, and I hope you get a grand giggle out of it. Here's to more giggles and laughters, laughter in your life.